Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to make seven panel berets. I'll be using this Ankara fabric. This is lining, tape through my fabric scissors, my paper scissors, and this cardboard as our pattern paper. So guys, on your cardboard paper that I'm using as a pattern, Put your tape on a vertical line and measure 8 inches. This is 8 inches. You just mark it. 8 inches. 8 inches. Then you draw a straight line. So before we continue, my head circumference is 22 inches. 22 inches and I said we are making a seven panel beret. So you divide this by seven to so give us 3.1 So I'll be using three inches To cut my panel so From here now since we are using three inches So I'll mark the three inches here Three inches divided by if I divide it to give me 1.5 inch so I'll put this here on this my 8 inches line okay let me just rule it let's pull it down let's rule it and go so I'll put it this way it is one one and a half inches Okay. Then one and a half. These three, one and a half inches. Here okay, also. Then from this line, I will measure five inches. Five inches. Then the three inches we are supposed to cut. So I will measure three inches and three inches. And that's six. So I'll put my tape like this. This is three inches here. This is three inches here. So I'll mark this way. Three. Three. That's six inches. Then from here, I'll remove half an inch. Half an inch. Half an inch or so. So now we'll, we'll connect all these dots. So this is how I'll connect. So I want to get something like a leaf shape. You have your cuff ruler, you can use it. So I don't have, so I'm using my free hand to so just roll this. How will be the swing allowance? Okay. okay, so this is my pattern now. Okay. 
know this is what I'll be putting on. guys this is the pattern for the seven panel berry so i'll be cutting this pattern seven times on my ankara fabric i'll place this and cut it out seven times on the ankara fabric and i will also cut it out on the lining seven times So this fabric is on fold, so I'll cut the mini one. So guys, I'm done cutting the seven panels. I cut out seven panel lining and for my Ankara fabric, and this is in in two, it's on fold. So this is the back facing back. So what we are going to do, you go to your sewing machine and you stitch. This front and this front part, stitch it this way from this point to this point. You do the same for this and this, they will do the same. Okay, so I'm done notching. Um, the next thing to do is to go back and join this panel. So, I'm going to sew. This to two panel now. I'm going to sew it with yourself just this way. Sew it. Then this other part too. You join it from this top to the bottom. And I'll also do the same for the lining. So guys, I have joined them together. This is six panel now. Join it together, and I've also do the same for the lining. So before we join. The other panels we need to make it seven panel. I'm going to join this one here. This is the right side and this is the back. I'm going to join this one here. Then join before we we'll close this center point. We have to make that thing that is usually on top of barracks. We'll make it so this is two inches by one and a half inches so you fold this way fold this way fold like this fold half inch then fold it on yourself then you sew straight down i'm going to put this here this way i'm going to put it this way before you go ahead and stitch the remaining one panel to the beret then I will stitch the lining also this is one panel that's remaining for now also stitch it and I'll come back and show you so guys I've gone ahead and stitch this part and I've also stitched the one panel that is remaining so uh seven panel berets has taking shape already as you can see so I've also joined the lining together and the next thing we will do is to cut out band so from here now you should know you should measure your your beret to be sure of the length that you should be having your head circumference now after joining you should be having 22 inches so this is as you can see this is 11 and my head circumference is 22 so this is 22 already 
So you cut out your band. This is the width is three inches and the length is so this is 22 and a half this quarter of an this half inch now is for joining so this is what i will do this is the right side of my fabric this is the wrong side fold it to the wrong side this way i'm going to stitch that half inch yeah we'll go and see and come back and show you So guys, I have stitched as you can see. Then what we'll do next is to open it up. We are going to fold it this way. This is the wrong side. This is the right side. We are folding this way. So after folding, you bring your your beret now open it we want to stitch we are going to pin this this way we are going to pin it so I will pin, I'll pin this around I'll just be pinning this band around what I'll be doing. So I've pinned the band to our beret and I will go to my sewing machine and I will sew it around. So guys, this is it. I've sewn the the band. This is what it looks like. So now we're going to attach the lining. So I'll turn this inside out this way. This is it. So you pull this um, band this way. Fold it this way. Then the lining, we're going to turn it to the other side to the wrong side and you put it this way this is the right side now this is the right side this is the wrong side put your beret inside this way then we are going to stitch we are going to stitch the lining round the way we did but before we do that we have to make a a space where we'll turn it inside out because I'm going to sew this thing around without leaving any space to turn. So from one of the panel, I'm going to open it if I go ahead to cut so that we can turn it inside out from here. I'll just cut it open. So I'll lose like two inches. This is it. So I'll go ahead and sew. So guys, this is the lining. I've stitched it round the beret. So we'll turn it inside out from this opening that I made. I'll just do uh, so go back to my sewing machine and stitch it. But before then, let me show you what a it looks like. So beautiful. So guys, I have gone ahead and stitch where we turn inside out. This is the finished look. So 
guys this is a finish walk oh, our kara seven fan nail very wait you can see how beautiful this is